really throw me off. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Wait. When you're throwing a party, it's always fun to have a theme, and one of my favorite themes is a tea party. The tea party is all about the details, including the food and drink, and what is a tea party without the tea? When you're looking to choose a tea flavor, you want a variety of flavors and you want to keep your theme in mind. So you want to have some of the basics. You want like a black tea, which is going to be a darker, stronger tea. You're going to want a green tea. We included some floral blends, which was really nice. So we did dried roses, which you don't need a ton of. That, that a little bit goes a long way with roses. When you're making tea blends for an event, you definitely want to keep the season in mind. In the summer, you're probably going to gravitate towards more citrus-based flavors, and then if you're doing one for the fall, you want to look at some dried apples and cinnamon. I think that you can have fun with it, but it's nice to keep seasonality in mind. You can't have a tea party without tea, and you can't have a tea party without tea sandwiches. They're really easy to make, people love them, and they're kind of adorable. When you're looking at making tea sandwiches, you're basically making tiny little sandwiches. And there's some more traditional tea sandwiches, so it would be a cucumber with cream cheese, you can do an egg salad, lox, and cream cheese, I already said cream cheese. <laughs> when you wanna get the right mix of savory and sweet when you're looking at your tea sandwiches, I think you look at the rest of your menu. So if you have tons of sweets already there, you're gonna wanna stick with more savory options. And if you only have a few sweet treats, then you wanna do kind of a balance of both. Flowers don't need to stop at your table setting. Instead of doing a birthday cake or a pie, you can do a rose apple tart. What's great about a rose apple tart is if you know how to make an apple pie, you can do this. It's relatively easy. The biggest difference is that you aren't putting a lattice on top, and you're basically, instead of just throwing all the apple slices into the middle, you're arranging them from the outside and spiraling them, and in the end, they look like a rose. A great gift for your guests to take home are little personalized jars of honey. Wait, let me do it again. I'm going to say sweet. Sure. <laughs> okay. So a sweet gift for your guests to take home are little personalized jars of honey. You can do it however you want. We chose to put a little piece of fabric over the top, tie it off with a tiny spoon, and then add a personal note. We said thank you for being there, because bees make honey. <laughs> Get it? <laughs>